Excellent. Great. Well, welcome and thank you for joining today. Um, today's focus is going to be a 19 minute, up to 19 minutes group discussion. Um, I say up to 19 minutes because it really is flexible to the needs of the people participating. So if we find that after one hour it's enough or maybe we've reached a, a good stopping point, we can stop there. But it is again flexible to the needs of every participant. And the reason I wanted to do a group discussion is because it's one thing to learn information, but then it's another thing to uh, introspect and apply the information to ourselves. And then it's also a third thing to um, apply the information to ourselves in an interactive process. And so that's really the basis of today's group discussion. And then possibly added to that, you may also be able to receive some group coaching around the topics at hand. So um, it's, I guess the reason that I really want to highlight that is to inform all of you that are here today that if at any point you find yourself needing something specific, you can actually share that with me individually in the chat. So this is actually a group discussion and my role here is to be the facilitator of introspection and learning for all of you. So as a facilitator, my role is to help ask the right questions, to help you all do the introspection, do the processing and do the implementation and application of the learnings from the prior session around the topics of uh, conflict, trauma, and the relationship of those things to change in culture, um, but also to help guide the conversation in a way that is constructive and that is progressive and logical. So uh, one thing I would ask of the participants is to please be communicative with me using the chat box if at any point you find yourself uh, noticing that maybe you have some sort of need that you'd like addressed but the chat box is also available to you to share information with me that you may not want to share with the entire group. Now, that brings me to the discussion of group participation before we jump in. So there are really no rules for today's conversation, but I do have a couple of requests. Number one, I want everybody to be aware around confidentiality. So normally in a coaching process, we would have a prior agreement and we would have uh, delineated the expectations around confidentiality between you all and me and between all of us as a group. However, given that this is a public forum, that's not really possible. So I cannot, I just want to highlight that I cannot ensure any sort of confidentiality around the discussion today. And I want everybody to know that so that they can make an informed decision about what they decide to share and what they decide to maybe let me know in the private chat box. So please keep that in mind and utilize that private chat box if at any point you're feeling unsure or if you're feeling like you may want to communicate directly with me without communicating with the rest of the group. So that's the first kind of um, request that I have as a facilitator. The other request that I have as a facilitator is that you do turn your video on and we will um, allow for everybody to see each other. If you're able to turn your video on, that's incredibly helpful to the process because what that helps me do as a facilitator is to continue to monitor the activity of the group to see what the reactions are and to sense where everybody is along the way. So the more I can see of you, the more more helpful I can be as that guide and that facilitator in today's discussion. So um, those are really the only two requests that I have as the facilitator to be guide, as I guide you through today's discussion. Uh, that said, I would like to just offer out and, and, and um, provide a reminder of the role that um, or the, the topic for today's discussion and kind of what the intention is uh, as far as I am concerned for today's session. So um, I'm hoping that all of you were able to watch the video for the recording that we did for Wednesday's session on deconstructing conflict, culture, and um, the relationship of conflict to culture, trauma, and change. If you weren't able to watch it, I'm still glad you were able to join. Just please, if you have any questions along the way, please feel free to ask those again, either by using the uh, microphone, excuse me, the microphone or by sharing them in the chat with the group or sharing them in the chat with me. 
So in that email that Rita forwarded, I had asked all of you to please watch the recording if you didn't attend live, but also to um, complete the assessment that I had provided so that you could kind of draw some awareness and gain some understanding about yourself and hopefully be able to bring that to today's session. So if you have not had the chance or if you had not, have not had access to that, that's still totally fine. That doesn't mean that you're not able to participate in today's discussion. Just uh, my request again is to be communicative with me so that I can best facilitate your learning, your processing, and your healing in this space today. So I'm really excited to dive in. Again, it is an informal, free-form group discussion, but I will serve as a facilitator and as a guide for all of that. And so as the different topics start to come up, I will then kind of jump in, utilize different tools, and uh, ask the questions that may help all of us move forward during uh, the pre during the discussion around these different topics. So before we start, I do want to check in and see if anybody has any questions, not about the topics, not about the materials, but just about how today's session is going to go. 